Here's a man that had a big part to this play. This is why you come, man. Especially this is why you come here for these game. days. <laughs> Great to see you. Okay. Look, congratulations. As the boys said, look, a semi finalist now with Real Madrid. And I just noticed there, look, an exhalation of breath, perhaps yeah. a bit of relief. What are the feelings? Yeah, I think it's, it's relief. Um, it's definitely because you put so much into the game. And, you know, I've played against City before when you've been close and you feel like you're going to get something out of it. And then all of a sudden they kind of snatch it away from you. So you have to work really hard to beat them. And, you know, I was pretty much dead on my feet at the end. And <laughs> to, to win the game is a massive reward. There were big moments, especially in the second half, where they had the pressure on you so much. How difficult were those moments to make sure you defended resolutely and you kept the focus? It's so difficult because, you know, they're, they're continuously probing with the ball. Uh, they move you around and, you know, they take you into positions that sometimes you don't want to go, you know, but you have to follow man for man. Otherwise, they can, they can punish you. And they did for the goal. And to be fair, I think mo most teams at that point would... would fall apart um, when City kind of get on top here the crowd gets going but we stood up really well and um, for another half an hour 40 minutes we we, we, we worked hard it's, it's a great result for you guys you've gone through you um is, is this move for you Real Madrid playing here and what it means to players is it lived up and gone beyond any expectations that you imagine I could never dream of it how it how it started but you know not just because of the performances the goals and all that kind of thing but just the feeling you get playing for the club um, you guys obviously play for huge clubs but it's just that feeling every day, you know, you get to put the badge on your chest and you feel like you're so grateful to be there, you know, and yeah, long may it continue, hopefully more nights like these. Mm. Anticipating tonight's game, you obviously thought that City would be stronger with Kevin and, and Carl coming back, so did you have to tweak the game plan, the tactics from the first yeah, leg? I think, I think it, was, it was pretty similar. Um, a couple of us were doing roles that we weren't normally used to, like me, I've, I was having to go a bit higher to press, which meant sometimes when the ball turned over and I wanted to get on it, it was hard to because I was so high. Um, but it, it's the different adjustments and it's the sacrifices of your own game that you have to make. The lads done it brilliantly. Whoever came on from the bench kind of covered for that and we got the job done. Uh, how important is, uh, is Carlo? He was obviously managing England, managing, it, managing everywhere yeah. and been hugely successful. Yeah. What, what, give us some little behind the scenes nuggets that he gives you guys to go out there and to be able to perform the way you do under stress sometimes, but also when you can go and blow teams away. I think our biggest strength is that he, he finds a way to let a lot of the boys play with freedom. Mm. I think, you know, some teams are a bit more structured in terms of the passing styles and the patterns of play, and it's really interesting to watch and it's diff definitely difficult to play against. But I think one of our kind of biggest strengths is that we're so kind of off the cuff, mm. if that makes sense. And, you know, as a man as well, he just fills you with, with calmness and confidence. Mm. Before the game there, I caught him yawning. <laughs> and I said to him, boss, are you tired? And he went, yeah, you need to go and excite me out there. So um, <laughs> that's the kind of confidence and calmness he brings. You, you mentioned the badge. Is, 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 there, is, there, is it heavy? Like, is, it, is it the responsibility? Do you feel the pressure from the years gone by? Figo's given out awards before here, an ex-player. You've got Seedorf and you've got Fabio Carnavaro there. Do you, do you notice all that and feel that pressure? I think you've got to see it as responsibility more than pressure. You know, if you want to, if you want to come to a club like Real Madrid, if you want to kind of take that step, then I think you have to be willing to, to be criticised, to be under that scrutiny, be under that spotlight. And, you know, I think that the club do a great job and if they don't think that you're ready, then they ease you in and they do things like that with you. But, you know, if, if you're here, then it probably means you can handle it. So you've kind of got to trust the process. How's he answering these questions so eloquently at this age, man? <laughs> how old are you, bro? How old? Tell me how old you are, man. Uh, no. still, still 20, bro. <laughs> uh, what about the fact that you knock out the holders and you do it on penalties and you do it here at the Etihad as well? It's yeah. quite a way yeah. to do it. It's, it's incredible, really. I think, you know, today... And a lot of the games we play this season, you know, you can look at moments where it's like moments of brilliance, moments of magic. And then today, I think it just comes down to mentality, really. You know, it's, it's a matter of running, not to track, to track. So I think when you get those details right and then you have those little moments like the penalties where the lads can kind of keep their cool, then it, it, it's a great mix going forward and you've got a great team for that. Does Last it feel question. particularly, oh. sorry, does it feel particularly um, a proud moment for you to be able to go through to the semi-finals of Champions League, do it in England where you've got so many friends, so many family members that perhaps were here watching? Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, I think my brother's here today and it's the first time he's got to see me play for Madrid. So, huh. um, you know, I've, I've, I feel really proud of that kind of stuff. You know, um, it's, it's a main part of why I do it to be honest I get a lot of fun from playing football but mm. the idea of being able to play a game come home to my mum and dad um, is, is one of the most <laughs> important things and it's one of the things I love the most. By next worried how are you feeling about that? Excited? I wouldn't say worried you know we're always confident in our own ability we <laughs> there was there was everyone wrote us off before the game anyway <laughs> saying that City were the favourites I think pretty much everyone put them in the final so yeah we, we've got nothing to be worried about per se but we respect their talent and their quality and we'll have to approach it with the same focus as today excellent good luck with it thank, thank you, you very much, much for coming and talking to us congratulations as well semi-finals of the champions league that is amazing well done thank you so much great to see you thank you